this tutorial we are going to discuss on about some examples related to all those properties those we have depicted so far in our last tutorial we had defined about some specific attribute properties that means we were targeting some specific attributes of a particular selector name and then we had targeted them in an order in an effort to create all those effects as we have seen over here that if that this was the image in these two back-to-back -back images in the first case all we can see that there is a yellow border but in the second case there is nothing and all those things were possible due to usage of some specific attribute selectors now in this tutorial all we are going to do we are going to use all those specific attributes in an order to stylize our form elements those we have created so far in our project as we can see over here that this is a form element that we had created previously in our tutorial and all those form fields over here those are practically now being unstylized they have not been customized yet and all these things those things are practically the default display as displayed by the browser itself now we are about to customize all these form elements with the aid of those attribute selectors if we get back to our index.html we can see that this is the div class form holder and this is the form element that we have created over here inside this form element we have created all those specific fields we have provided an input text field actually two of them are there the first type is the text the second one is email and the third is the text input type field and there comes the text area and then comes an input type subnet that we will be using here instead of a button element now in an order to do that the very first thing that we are going to do we are going to copy this one and we are getting back to our stylesheet.css and inside we will be pasting it we will be creating the same exact selector name over here that we had created in our main index.html and here we will provide a particular background color to it for say it should be red we are providing a particular width of 90 percent and we are putting a margin of 20 pigs auto condition so what we have here we have created a form folder where we had put some properties such as the background color property which we set to red we had provided a width and we had provided a margin of 20 peaks auto so now if we get back to our project we can see that this will be the exact result this is the 90 percent width of this particular form holder and those are the input fields those haven't been customized yet so now let's try to customize them now in an order to do that the very first thing that we are going to do we are going to make usage of this selector that we had discussed earlier that means we are now defining that any form element which is present inside this selector form holder it will be having a background color of white so if we press ctrl s and get back to our project we will see that our form is been now colorized with a, a white color but on the other hand we can see that each and every input field elements inside those have practically been unstylized so far so this is what we need to concentrate on right now now the very first thing that we can see here that there comes this input type which says it is a text field so there are two text fields over here this is the first one and this is the second one and in the middle one there's another one which is practically an email field and then comes this text area and then comes another input type which is practically submit type right over here so we need to individually customize each of them then we need to put something like this this form folder then comes this form and then comes this input now if we just leave it up to this one and if we carry on with our customization then each and 
every input field over here those will be having the same common properties as we had seen in our previous cases where we haven't differentiated between two distinguishing input fields but what if we want some different color to this particular fields this enter name and enter phone input field and there will be another different property in case of this enter email there will be a different property for this submit here button in an order to achieve that we have to rely on those specific attribute selectors those we had learned in our previous tutorial so in case if you have missed those tutorial then please have a visit and have a look into it i think it will be helping you a lot now in this particular case all we can do the very first thing that we are going to do we are going to target this text field so that is why if we get back to our project we will now specify that that this particular input element which has a type of what should be the type text so what we are specifying over here we are specifying that any input element which has a type of text it will be having a background color of this one it will be having a padding property of 0.6 cm and it will be having a width of for say 40 percent and on the other hand there shouldn't be any border so if we do not provide this particular property over that means if we leave the border alone we do not specify what kind of border we are providing over here just leave it up to this far get back to your project and now we will see that both those input fields those were of type text those are practically having two distinguishing properties than the others so we can see that these input type text fields those are practically having different properties than the rest of those input elements into this particular form field. So that is why we can say particularly that this type which has a text of an input element of a particular form field which resides within this particular form holder selector name, those will be following these particular properties. Now, in the second case, all we are going to do, we are going to copy this thing and we are going to paste it over here. What we have here? We have this particular input type text and this particular input type email and then we have an input type of submit. So there are three individual types for a single individual uh, input element and we need to specify all of them individually as we wish to use something other some different properties for each of these individual elements now what we are doing over here